It's ginger, like the spice. Hey y'all, um, welcome back. It's ginger, like the spice. And today, um, we're doing something a little bit different. Today, we are um, actually going to do a little sit down and color. So, yesterday I had a moment where I was feeling like I was going to have a panic attack. I was kind of onset of a panic attack. And I've, I've, had, um, I've had some before, and so... It was really scary for me. I had some a few years ago, and that was scary. It was like the first time I ever had it. It was in, uh, in, in school, in college. And so I got familiar with them then, and I went to therapy, and I did some inner work and journaling and all types of things that would help me to deal with my um, anxiety and stuff. So I've had anxiety, I've had depression, and I still struggle with those, th those things. So today we are going to sit down and, well, I've had some anxiety and some depression and I still, and I still struggle with those things. Um, I was uh, with my boyfriend at the time and we did like some breathing exercises and different things like that. I have a weighted blanket. I um, just was taking deep breaths and, and closing my eyes and just, you know, just doing like little, little things to help me pressure point things to help me calm down and help me relax. I feel much better. I went to sleep last night and I was okay. I woke up this morning. I feel much better, but I still have a little bit of inkling of that anxiety. I still was feeling anxious this morning and overwhelmed. In my last podcast where I talked about like why you're tired it could be that like there are too many projects. It could be there's not enough self care. There's not enough rest, and I feel like mine's might be not enough self care, not enough rest, not necessarily sleep, but maybe taking more time to to read, to pray, to be in silence, or whatever that is. Um, I get overstimulated, and so when I do get overstimulated, things like that, like where there are colors and stuff, it gets to me, and so I have to take a step back. So what I'm gonna do today. Um, I'm going to be in my devotional coloring book. If you listen to my podcast, the why you're tired, um, you know, you have too much on you. I talked about my devotional coloring book. Um, for those who are listening to the audio, you couldn't see it. Um, but those who were listening to the visual, we had some technical difficulties, technical difficulties. So you couldn't see it either. Um, so nobody has seen it, but this is my devotional coloring book. It is called be still and no, it's called be still and no. And I looked through this book and I, I saved a few pages for anxiety because it's something I deal with the most. I saved a few pages. I had this one where it was like a quiet space needed. And I had another one that was words, uh, words of life for the anxious. And then I finally found one, um, one for peace. I've had this coloring book since maybe the summer of this year. And I haven't gotten like too much through it. I've done a few pages here and there to just help me to color some things like about trust and whatever else. But in this book, there is a scripture, a devotional and a prayer on one side. And then the other side is just the coloring page and you flip it over and it has another, you know, more scriptures, prayers and coloring pages for the next uh, topic. There are different topics throughout the book there are about 70 77 i think uh day 77 different um coloring pages that you can do this is one of my uh, coping mechanisms this is one of my strategies that i use that when i am feeling anxious i'll either journal rest literally sleep and lay down so journal rest or i would do this devotional coloring book this is another way so today's devotional page is on peace because that's what i need and it's from john 14 and 27 the new king james version and it says peace i leave with you my peace i give to you not as the world gives do i give to you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid i really love that scripture because it says peace i leave with you so god has already left peace and he says, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, do I give to you. So I really, I really love that scripture. Um, and to reflect on that, to think about peace and that God gives peace and his peace, um, no one can take away. No one can give to you as well. There is an entire devotional. And it says, when Jesus returned to the disciples after his crucifixion, he stayed on earth for 40 days before going to heaven for the last time. He could have offered any sort of wisdom his final words could simply have been i told you so 
as he walked away. Or he could have stayed away and not returned for those 40 days at all. After all, he is God and can do what he wants. What he did do was offer the gift of peace to them and to us. Peace that transcends any understanding. Peace is such a beautiful word. It conveys images of serenity, contentment, and freedom from the trials and tribulations of everyday existence. Peace means freedom from conflict, freedom from inner turmoil, and freedom from worry. Peace is such a beautiful concept that advertisers and marketers attempt to sell it with images of relaxed vacations, longing on the beach, or happy senior citizens celebrating on the golf course. But contrary to the implied claims of modern media, real peace, genuine peace, isn't for sale at any price. Have you discovered the genuine peace that can be yours through Christ? Or are you still scurrying after the illusions of peace the world promises but cannot deliver? If you've turned things over to Jesus, you'll be blessed now and forever. So what are you waiting for? Let him rule your heart and your thoughts, beginning now. When you do, you experience the peace that only he can give. And there's also a prayer. And the prayer is, God, thank you for offering the kind of peace that can be won or bought in any other way. I'm sorry, let me reread that again. It says, God, thank you for offering the kind of peace that can't, that can't be won or bought in any other way. Your peace is worth receiving. Help me carry it well. And so that is our devotional. That is our scripture. And that is the prayer. I want to now get into the coloring. So if you are watching me, um, I have a coloring page where it is like a park with the river, some trees. And when you color this, you take time to color different individual pieces, different individual parts, so that you, it kind of helps you calm down, it kind of helps you think, it helps you relax. I uh, often will either do it in silence, or I would do it with, <clears throat> excuse me, or I would do it with a a little bit of lo-fi music on, so. Alongside with my devotional coloring book, I also have a little bit of hot chocolate, so if you would like to do some coloring, journaling, or anything, Go ahead and grab a notebook, a bullet journal, some paper, and grab yourself some markers or pens or something to draw color with. Because we're going to go ahead and do this together so that if you're ever feeling anxious, if you're ever feeling a little sad, you feel feel like everything is like overwhelming you, you can go ahead and uh, return to this video. We can do some coloring and, and and some journaling and everything else. I have my little Santa hot chocolate. So if you like to grab a little beverage, a little warm beverage is also something I recommend too. A tea, a hot chocolate, a coffee. Well, if you're anxious, maybe not coffee because of the caffeine, but um, maybe a little bit of tea, a little bit of hot chocolate. Let's rock and roll. So first off, I want to start off with the, I want to start off with the trees. The trees are the things that are speaking to me the most. So I, what I do is on one half, I like to kind of just see what color I want to make things. So I have a couple greens here. I have these Tombow brush pens. These are the Tombow brush pens. So that's what these are. I've had these for a couple years now. And then I have these uh, GC Quill Dip uh, I mean, dual tip brush pens. And so I like brush pens to color with, but if you like markers, that is fine too. So today this is going to be a sit down, color, sit down, chat. We're just going to hang out as besties, as, as a community. We're just going to hang out as besties as a community and just get, um, some things, Some things sorted out in our emotions. Okay. So I definitely like to have them in order. And I just kind of mark them down so I know which one is which. And so I go through all my greens. You know, just, yeah. So I know for me, I want to go from light 
um i like to go from the lightest on the inside and then darker on the outside kind of how i did i did another little page like that i did another page where i've done trees oh yeah i did light dark on the outside light on the inside and i believe there's another page where i did trees too sometimes when i really feel like I, when i do something i really like i'll go back and look at it again and try to replicate it so we're gonna go ahead and start with the coloring i'm gonna move this microphone out the way because i need to color unrestricted okay so when i would when i first like started having my panic attacks when i first became anxious and kind of realized that i was suffering um with anxiety and suffering from depression and those kind of things because i was it was suffering i and i really struggled with it i started going to therapy so I began going to therapy and I just kind of uh, talked to my therapist and asked her for like, you know, and we set goals and I asked her like, what can I do? Because I don't, I don't want to sit here and let this overtake me. I don't want to sit here and struggle like this. I don't, I don't want it for myself. I want my life. I want to flourish. I want to grow. I want to love. I also want to not be restricted and be scared of everything so one of the coping mechanisms that she gave me like a healthy coping mechanism was uh journaling she says you need to journal and so i began journaling i journal in my ipad i have a little ipad that i journal in and i journal in that every single day or i'll journal in my computer if i'm really like feeling like i don't want to if i really feel like i don't want to wait like I, I'm just feeling so anxious I want to get everything out I will go ahead and um like go ahead and just type and just go ham on my computer and type on my thoughts so journaling has been revolutionary for me I've done journaling for a year and three months now I started um in September last year journaling like full-time and I really I really love it Th this is the first time I've ever been super consistent with journaling and writing my thoughts so when you do journal write your thoughts unrestricted don't worry about what people think because nobody should be reading your journal anyway it's just for you and your thoughts if you decide to share that that is uh, between you and them i personally would keep it to myself and keep your thoughts to yourself your deepest darkest thoughts to yourself your you know just your deep strong feelings so you know that um there's no judgment and when you journal don't judge yourself don't judge yourself. A lot of times we get into judging ourselves. We get into, oh my gosh, I sound silly. I look silly. I, what am I talking about? And you start, uh, you start judging yourself, and you start getting in your own way. And journaling should be authentic. It should be authentic. It should be what you want it to be. So I just love to outline this here. Now I'm outlining them as I'm coloring. The devotional coloring book was something I totally stumbled on by accident. I got it from a store in the mall. I was in the mall with my nieces and we were, you know, they were shopping and they wanted to go into different stores. So we went into, they were going into a store and I ended up going to a different store and just kind of walking through. It was like a little kind of, uh, you know, Western store boots and, you know, boots and kind of little like it was almost like texas themed so to speak like texas theme uh type of store and i found this devotional color book it was just sitting there on the shelf it was sitting there on the shelf and i picked it up and i opened it and this was actually one of the pages that i went to this page here this page about peace um, was actually one of the first pages I went to. It was actually a page that really motivated me to to get the book. So, but yeah, I'm really glad I have it. Um, I don't color in it as much as I should. But I color in it enough. <laughs> I 
Um, if you are also following me or doing this with me, uh, put in the comments below, like, hey, I'm also, you know, I'm journaling right now or I'm coloring or I'm doing this, that, and the other. Like, share with me um, what you're doing. Share with me what helps you get through because there, there are things I might not have thought of. There are coping me mechanisms I might not know. So definitely please share. But also, too, just because I do, it doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody. So please share with those um, in the comment section. Share what you do, what helps you, what you feel like hasn't worked for you. So that as a community, we can all grow together and we can all, you know, take uh, strides forward. And, you know, helping with our anxiety and depressions and being overwhelmed and stuff like that. Because it's a lot. It's a lot to be a young adult. It's a lot to be an adult. It's a lot to be a person. But I know that particularly in this young adult time, we are going through so much because you are an adult, but you still feel like a child. There are so many things you don't know, but yet you're expected to be able to function in society as a as a human being, fully full-fledged, as a full-fledged adult. But it's like, what am I supposed to do? They didn't teach me how to pay taxes in college. They didn't teach me how to do this. They didn't teach me how to do that. So how in the world am I supposed to do all these different things? And you're expecting me to know these things, to do these things. I didn't like the way I colored this. I feel like I should have went in a... A little bit of a different direction with the shade. I feel like I should have went to this color and made it into like a shade darker. But that's fine. But um it's like nobody teaches you these things. Nobody prepares you to be an adult. Nobody prepares you to handle life. Not really. Not really. So Um, also, if you like these type of videos, please let me know. Like, if this is your jam, if this is your thing, let me know. Um, also, let me know if you like this angle. Like, are you cool with just kind of a sitting down and doing something together like this? Or would you prefer a more like watching me watching me draw watching me color because i'm like i like would you more like more of a bird's eye view of watching me i'm not an artist so i don't know how much of my skills y'all want to see your girl is not an artist i am not out here picassoing i am not bob ross maybe a better example i'm not bob ross just little old shin um but let me know if you like the the angle of us just kind of of you being able to like kind of just see what I do. You've been able to uh, just kind of see what I do from this way. But still you see me as well um, during the activity. Or would you completely prefer me to just show you the book? Would you just prefer to see what I'm actually coloring? Like just the subject itself. That is something I need you guys to give me feedback. And also, too, I know some people do, but, you know, on this channel I have podcasts. I have different. Different videos. Tell me what you want to see. Like, what are the things that you want to see from me? What are the things that you feel like you struggle with as an, as an adult, as a young adult, you know? And, and share that with me in the comment section. You can DM me on Instagram, whatever. But share those things with me and tell me so I can know what kind of content you guys want to see. What kind of things you feel like aren't out there that you would like to be a part of. Because this is, like, this is our community. This is not just uh, me. This is our community. This is for all of us. We all should be here um, supporting each other we all should be here just kind of helping each other out this is a community we all have a say in this give me feedback let me know what you think let me know what you want to know let me know what you what you want to see I like that color 
just want to do something a little more informal. Because I know for me, sometimes I just want to sit down with somebody and talk. Or I just want to sit down and, and, and color and draw. And, you know, I am a talker, but sometimes I just want to sit down and just, I want to just chill. I just want to relax and vibe. And this is kind of what we're doing now, y'all. We just relax and we're just vibing. Like I said, if there's give me any feedback what you think about this setup also let me know if you like long form content like this because if I'm not mistaken we're already we've already been sitting here for about a good 20 minutes and I'm not even close to being done coloring and be coloring for a little hot second that's for sure um this another tree I kind of make them a different color, like a different type of brown. Whoopsies, this is my elbow. Just a different type of brown because all trees are not the same. I don't want a deeper brown, a lighter brown, or a dustier brown. Um, I have a few different browns in here that I got from my Tombow. I don't want a deep brown. I got from my Tombow brush pan pack. I like this one. Um. Whoopsies. Your girl cannot color in the lines. Let me tell y'all, your girl cannot color in the lines. Ooh, child. I am a musician, a teacher, a talker, not a not a draw, not a drawer, Jen. Okay. Cause your girl trying to color in the lines. Help me. Um <laughs> I actually think I like the deeper brown. I think all my branches, I think all my trees will look the same. So just kidding. What I love about the brush pens are that it's kind of like a paintbrush a little bit. Let me go ahead and just color all the little trunks of the tree. I think I actually am gonna do a lighter brown color. Is this a lighter brown? Is this that? Yep, it is that. I think I'm gonna try this one on this type of tree. Yeah, I like that. There are days where I color parts of, where I color different parts of my picture. There are days where I, there are days where I color the whole thing. So it just really depends on how I'm feeling. This morning we're taking it slow. Taking it slow this morning. It's really dark. What's the, what's the lightest one I can have? I don't want orange. If you wonder what I'm doing, um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I am marking down the colors to see which one I like. Okay, this is okay. It's kind of similar to that little orangey color, but it's a little more brown. So I can know what colors I want to use. Because I change it up.
And like I said, if you're feeling like um, you enjoy this content, give it a like. Please subscribe. Uh, please like it so I know what you guys want to see more of. Leave it in the comment section and tell me what more you want to see, what more you want me to do. Um, and I'm, I've been kind of talking throughout this. But if you're a type of person where you're like, you would like a little more silence. <laughs> you like a little more silence, a little more hushity hush, a little more be quiet and just color girl. I can do that. If you want a different angle, just tell me that. Honestly, like I said, I'm not an artist. So I was like, you guys probably don't want to see what monstrosities I'm doing. <sighs> not an artist, I promise. Not a, a like drawing and stuff. Um, I'm a musician. Do I want this color? Yeah, this color is nice. I think we're going to do this tree. One color. I'm doing this. This tree right here, I'm gonna do it one color. This green. But it's so relaxing to just sit here and get your thoughts out while you're coloring. Just focus on what you're doing in front of you. And I think that's what makes this so relaxing for me. Is that it's it take it requires a different skill that I really don't have. And a skill of just coloring and being creative artistically drawing wise with my with my hands which I'm not used to this I do is coloring the lines I'm still gonna keep these current these markers in order and I didn't. So I just mark up my little devotional page. I like this, but this is like similar to that, I think. I feel like those are like evergreen trees. So I feel like evergreen trees are much darker, but the tree in front of it is made super dark. I don't know, y'all. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with this. And call it a day. I'm going to go with this, uh, this little green dual tip brush pen. And hope that it doesn't look exactly the same as what's in front of it. 
I don't know, man. This outline at first. <laughs> I'm not liking my color choice, y'all, with this uh, tree I'm coloring. I'm not liking it. I think it's too dark. I think it looks like the, the outside of the other tree. I'll outline it, though. You know, it's supposed to be evergreens, but you know what? You only live once in life. Make it super. I just make it super light. When I say this look terrible, I mean it looking, it looking, it looking a look. It's giving. Don't give up your day job. It's giving. <laughs> what are you coloring? It's giving. What are you doing? It's giving get off the internet. <laughs> no coloring skills and techniques whatsoever, but that's all right, y'all. I'm only I'm only here to impress myself, okay? I'm only here to impress myself. I'm only here to to color my anxiety away. I also get anxiety from not doing things um, that I said I was going to do. I'm just going to be honest. There'll be some things I'm like, I should do that. I need to do that tomorrow, and then I just don't do it. And then I'm, I'm wondering what's wrong with me. I do like the little evergreen. That's nice. Okay. Hmm. What's funny is that this is so relaxing. I'm starting to get tired. This is so relaxing. I'm starting to get tired, y'all. And this is good that it's relaxing like this. So actually what I'm thinking, I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking that I just want to color these trees and then I might, I might call it a day. All right, let's continue, shall we? I'm just gonna wing it now. Like I'm, I'm trying to plan on my colors, but honestly, I'm not gonna put all that pressure on myself. This is really just for me. It's kind of the same with journaling. Like I'm not gonna put all that pressure on myself to for it to look good, for it to sound correct. When you, by the way, when you do journal, don't worry about sounding correct. Have run on sentences. Talk crazy. Do your stuff, bro. Say what you want to say. Well, I say talk crazy, but that's not what I mean. I, I mean like. Because how your your feelings that you're talking are not crazy, so I don't want to say that. Uh, but say what you really, what you feel like you can't say out loud. The journaling is more so when I want to be heard, but I and I want to get something out and I want to say something. The devotional coloring is more so if you just need a chance to disassociate kind of get away, kind of take a break, kind of relax and not be so concerned or not be chasing, you don't feel like chasing an agenda. You need to escape. This is a 
an escape right here because right now I am not in my office space. Right now I'm in this beautiful, lovely park with this bridge. And actually, I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to the park. It would be nice to go to the park and we have a little bridge like this in the in my park in my city. I like that. I like that a lot. I kind of want to make this tree one color because at first I had these, like, these multi colors, but I really just want to make this tree solid. I'm gonna I'm gonna not um <laughs> Your girl is gonna not be innovative. I'm just gonna color this tree one color. I don't think I want to be innovative with this one. I think, I think because I feel like life is so complex right now, um, I, I don't think I want to be innovative. I mean, I don't think I want to be intricate. That's the word. I don't want to be complex. I want to put some color on my other pages. I want to be simple. So I'm gonna make all the trees. I'm gonna make this one color. I want to be simple. It's really nice actually. Y'all want to be simple. I want to have this tree as one color. And I think actually I'm pretty happy with that. This tree being one color like this. I think that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's just been one color. Because I just like did a little stroke. Uh, I color with the same color, but it's like kind of shaded a little differently. It's just really nice. Little update. I have... Uh, couple more trees I'm gonna go I'm just doing all shades of green at this point picking up different shades of green different shades of green and I really like this light green. I think I'll make this light green for the, the trees in the back, too. Make, oh, boy. There's people in my building talking. For those of us who uh, who know, you know. You know, not all, of, not all of us have a house. Living in a, in a house of silence. Honestly, I don't really want to live in a house of silence. I like hearing people and hearing sounds and stuff like that. Um, I really like this. So, so far, here are the trees. And actually, the last thing I'm going to do, uh, the last thing I want to do, because I'm, I want to save all of this maybe for a different day, because really, I feel like this did what it needed to do. I feel like coloring the trees up here at the top did what it needed to do. I feel much more relaxed. I feel much more cool, calm, and collected. The last thing I want to do, I'm going to color the sky. I want to really color the sky. Don't want that color for the sky. <laughs> So what do I want? Do I want, I think I'm gonna go for more of a true blue. Go for more of a, a true blue like this. Go for more of a true blue like this and color the sky and this will be the last bit. So, and I would say there's nothing wrong. So when I journal, I also take the time, like I'll journal a little bit and like journal like maybe a paragraph and then I'll stop. Sometimes I just journal one sentence and then I will stop. So journal color as much as you feel like you need for that moment. And it's not, it's not like it's an essay. It's not like you have to finish your thoughts. That you can Sometimes I leave off on a cliffhanger. I leave off on a thought. I have to go do something else. So do what you need to do. Because the important part about this is you're doing what you need to do. You are doing what's best for you. You are being selfish and pouring back into your own cup. So do that. Be selfish, pour back into your own cup. Um, do what you feel like you need to do for your, your mental health. But this is just a little time to take a break and just fuel yourself and just do what you feel like you need to do for you. And I love it for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the sky. Go ahead and finish the sky. And at least wrap up this top portion of 
my this top portion of my drawing <clears throat> I really love doing this I really love having this moment with you guys where we can like just just chill together and just have a moment to color have a moment to draw because you can also you could have drew drew the, during this time drew your own little your own picture drew your own illustration or if you like me you had coloring pages or if you just wanted to journal and you just wanted to sit here and journal or if you're just sitting here and just listening and watching me yap my flaps and ladies gents everyone this is it so i colored like i said i'm i'm not an artist by no means i'm not an artist by no means but i colored i colored um the little top portion here the trees and the sky and that's kind of it so i'm gonna go ahead and probably uh continue to color this at a different time if you would like to like when i'm continuing to color this if you would like to like sit there and be like hey wait for you know recording when you finish coloring the rest of it or record it when you color the bottom half of that let me know if you would like me to um read more devotionals do more devotional colorings let me know if you would like to join me um in even journaling one day and we just have a sit down and journal sit down and goal set together and just different things like that let me know um but i'm getting ready to go i'm gonna put these markers up i'm gonna go ahead and start moving on with uh something else i got some household chores i need to do before i get out today and do some things but um thank you for doing this with me i appreciate you once again this is the devotional coloring book if uh if i i don't know if i find the link to it maybe i'll try to see if i can find the link to it if i can't find the link to it and you know of one um that you have uh link it uh below for us let us know or i will try to maybe find a different one or something like that so yeah but anyway i love you guys i love that we did this all together know that you are not alone that you're not by yourself i struggle we struggle we all struggle they struggle he she we struggle struggling struggleology um but we all struggle but just know that you are not alone. Know that God has your back. Know that I have your back. Know that we're all here together. And that's what this community is for. That's the Ginger Like the Spice community is for. That's what the Ginger Snaps podcast and all those things are for. You're not alone. Nothing's wrong with you. Okay? We're just all humans in this boat called life. Try not to drown <laughs> and try to survive. So with that being said, if you would like any more tips, tricks, advice, journey, uh, things that I talk about, you can go follow my podcast. You can go onto my page. Please like, please subscribe. Let me know what you enjoy. Let me know what you want to see more of in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I wish it was rules, but now it's divine Stepping my back like thorns on my side My brain is the enemy, don't look surprised I'm losing my mind, trying to catch up on this grind Money is slime, a line of time Feel like I'm out of my mind, trying to make it to the cloud now